Next, we have Danelli Rodriguez from Justice for All. Woo! He's going to be talking about keeping Woo! nature public. Thank you. Yo, yo, what's good, y'all? Hey! It's cold out here, but we're about to turn this up. What up? Hey! Let's go. Who city? Our city. Who city? Our city. Who city? Our city. You damn right it's our city. <laughs> but these politicians seem to forget that every time they in the real estate bag. I know. But we cutting that. My name is Donnelly Rodriguez. I'm with the Justice for All Coalition and the DSA. And we stand in solidarity with our neighbors in Flushing against the Flushing rezoning and every single rezoning in New York City. We also stand against the rubber stamping Euler process that prioritizes the real estate lobby and at the cost of our communities. It's over for that. Here are the facts. The zoning policies in New York City historically have been racist and classist. That's just the facts. That's just the facts. It is a tool for justifying our neighborhoods time and time and time and time and time again. And I'm tired of it. I'm from Astoria. They like to say they build new buildings and it, it brings the rent down, but I I've been living in a story of LIC my entire damn life, and the only things going up are buildings and the rent. Yeah. Yeah. So that's bullshit, part of my friends. It's absolute bullshit. bullshit. Big facts. They let the wrong hood dude into law school, yo. Straight up. These politicians should be ashamed of themselves. Amidst a global pandemic, they're over here trying to upzone our cities to justify our people for the real estate lobby when we're in the midst of the largest eviction crisis in our damn history. They want to build more houses that we can't afford when people are going to be living in the damn streets? And I've seen the effects of homelessness because we're literally standing at the home of Occupy City Hall where we built an autonomous zone right here, right here on this land to defund the police, to fund housing. But they evicted us from here too. That's what they seem to love to do. Evict our people and bring in the wealthy. Are we gonna stand for that anymore? Hell no. Are we gonna Hell stand no. for that anymore? Hell no. I don't hear y'all, they need to hear y'all over there, they need to hear y'all in town, they need to hear y'all in Brooklyn, they need to hear y'all in Harlem, they need to hear y'all. Are we gonna stand for that anymore? Hell no. Absolutely not. They love spewing this capitalist, neoliberal nonsense that they need to access private funding so that they can build. But that's BS. What they need to do is tax the damn rich. What they need to do is tax the damn rich. Tax them. Tax the rich, fund public housing, build more public housing for the people, not for the damn real estate lobby. Let's go. Let's go! Straight up! Thank you, Queen. Straight up. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Straight up. They need to cancel the damn rent. I've been rent striking this whole damn pandemic. Being harassed by my landlord time and time again, talking about she can't pay her bills, when she's driving a Benz, and she got a couple properties. Sell your Benz. Sell your buildings. Give it to the tenants. Straight up. Now, enough about the, the problems. We're going to talk about the solutions now. The solution is, number one, 
abolish this ULERP, yo. What we need yeah. is a land use process that centers the communities in which the zoning is going to impact. And I'm not talking about that input crap that they like to talk about. We tired of giving input. We've been giving input for years, time and time again, and they've ignored us each and every damn time. What we need is autonomy and decision-making power in a land use process. If the community says no, it means no. Pack up your bags and go home. That's what we need. And in addition to that, like I said earlier, we need to tax the damn rich and fund public housing. Now. They talking about the blueprint now. Yeah. They talking about the blueprint uh, now. They try uh, to mask a privatization through a public trust, but we don't trust that public trust. It's a sham. Get it, y'all. 2021 is around the corner, and I don't really give a rat's, you know what, if you a black politician or a brown politician, because there's several of y'all that voted for the flush and rezoning, and I'm going to drop some names right now. Hold on, y'all. Council members who voted for the rezoning identify as progressive and are seeking office in 2021. Get your pens, papers, phones, tablets ready. One, Carlina Rivera. Two, Diana Ayala. Three, Farrah Lewis. Four, Francisco Moya. Five, Justin Brandon. Five, Kalos. I don't know his last name. Oh, ben Kalos. Yeah, I remember Ben. He be like it. He likes coming to Nitra and pandering. Keith Powers. Mark Levine. Reynoso in Brooklyn. And Vanessa Gibson. Fuck Gibson. 2021 is around the corner. You can't say Black Lives Matter and then be voting for gentrification policies that remove black lives. I'm sorry, it's over for that. You can't say the lives of poor people matter when you're taking that real estate bag and voting for gentrifying zoning policies. It's over for that. Straight up. So what we need to do is tax the rich. What we need to do is defund, disarm, and abolish the police and fund in the conditions of poverty that lead to criminality in our neighborhoods. That's what we need to do. Public safety means a guaranteed home. Public safety means guaranteed health care. Public safety means guaranteed education. I bet you my damn life if we focus on those things, you will not see the criminality in our neighborhoods. Right. It will be in the margins. And we won't need all these police officers. Yeah. Fund the people now. What do we want? 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 What do we want?